What's up everyone? In this video we're going to be going over the tier 5 units, Yazora and Arctair. Make sure to watch until the end or your next 5 games your teammate is going to auto send the entire game. This is the only tank unit that does pure damage, meaning the damage amount is the same disregarding which attack type the enemy units are. The passive ability Wintry Touch is an AoE damage passive that does 3 pure damage to each unit every second and reduces the attack speed of nearby enemies by 75% in a large area, and it stacks within itself. How many stacks you may ask? 50. 50 freaking stacks. If you have the ability to absolutely slam the defender button to build 50 Yazora on your board, each enemy unit will take 150 damage per second once they're in range. That may not sound like a lot of damage, but when you multiply 150 times 50 each second of damage, well, I'll show you a little later in the video what it does to wave 21. Yazora also has the passive ability Nimble Feet, which means that she has a 25% chance to dodge each incoming attack. I just wanted to show you really quick how Yazora holds through the first three waves. On wave two, even if you're sent two snails or a dragon turtle, you're still going to full hold. But on wave three, if you're sent any mythium at all, even one snail, you will leak at least 50%. Once we hit wave four, we start to get into trouble. As we see, our fighter value is down into the red, and we don't want that. Based on my lineup, I'm going to build a ranger here to add some DPS to my board to try and not leak. We're working on a video about positioning, and we'll have that in the description once it's out. However, I'm always happy to help if you'd like to pop into my live streams with any questions. I stream on Twitch pretty much every day, and I'm happy to guide you through positioning. Getting into wave 5, this is Yazora's weakest wave this early in the game. So with my build here, I'm gonna just try to not leak with just building a couple bazookas. As we see, even with our defender value being close to what it should be, we still have a decent leak here. Wave 9 is Yazora's next weakest wave, and I just wanted to show you that Yazora just gets shredded. I would definitely build more here to make sure that you don't leak. Once you hit wave 13, I highly recommend upgrading to Arc Tear. I'll show you really quickly that you do have a small leak here if you have even 5 Yazora as tanks. But with this build, with only 2 Arc Tears, it does full hold. Take into consideration with this unit, because of the AoE damage ability, it is important that it lives for as long as possible. In order to help you do that, I'm going to show you a couple ways you can position her on the board. I'm just going to hop into Sandbox here, pick Shrine just so I have Yazora, and just use the units in Shrine. I'm just going to put a couple Eternal Wanderers right above it, so they will be attacked first and Yazora will be in the back. It's pretty straightforward. The the wave splits and there will be two sides that come out to attack the one on the left, the one on the right, and Yazora will be the last one hit. The second positioning I'm going to show you is the aura positioning with Yazora. I just switched over to Grove to, uh, to grab a white main just so I could show you an aura real quick. Just put them in this, uh, this little circle around him and I'm just going to do a wave 15 send here just to show you how this aura positioning works. As we look at the damage taken, we don't see any Yazor really taking damage. Just one right here toward the end, only a few units alive. As we predicted, Yazora is living the longest. And here we have it, the highly anticipated Wave 21 Arc Tear Spam. And they're off. Shoo!
look at all that damage hitting the main boss right here. As the main boss is nearing death, all of the side units are at 75 or less percent health. And the remaining Arcterrors just come by and clean up the rest of the crew. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please comment them down below and we will answer them immediately. Thanks again. See you on the next one.